We all use a bunch of different products for our beards. We use your wash, your co-wash, your conditioner, your oil, your baller, your balm. But when you're washing your beard, do you ever think about this stuff up here? Are you using your beard stuff up there or do you have a face wash? Today, I have got Black Wolf face wash as well as their moisturizer for you today. I haven't used a face wash or a moisturizer since high school, you know, when you're battling the acne. So I had a lot of questions. How do I wear it with my beard? Is it going to hurt my beard? And what can I do to wear it while not hurting my beard? Come check out what I've got for you today. What's going on everybody? Thank you for stopping by the channel. If you haven't yet, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. I appreciate each and every one of you that stops by the channel. As I had mentioned today, we are talking a face wash and a face moisturizer. They're both products I haven't worn since probably high school until Black Wolf reached out to me a couple weeks ago and uh, sent me out their face wash and face moisturizer. My first question was, how do I wear this with a beard? Do I put it on underneath my beard? Do I just put it up where I don't have any beard hair? I know the ingredients in a beard wash and a face wash are definitely totally different. One's a little bit harsher than the other. Black Wolf sends you this nice ingredients glossary here so you can kind of see what all is in their products. So you looking at the list, if you could look at the list here, there is a lot of ingredients in a face wash, which is going to be a pretty clear and evident thing where you're not going to want to use this on your beard. The skin underneath your beard and in your beard is very, very sensitive. Even if it says it's listed for a dry skin, yeah, we use our beard oils to help with the dry skin under your beard. This is not going to help that dry skin under your beard. It is mostly meant for the stuff without the hair around your beard. I usually use it, I put it up here on my forehead, on my nose, on my high cheek lines where there isn't any growth of a beard. And I kind of just keep it in that range because the skin here is way less sensitive than the skin underneath your beard just like the skin on your hair is way more less sensitive than here. It kind of goes less sensitive, kind of sensitive, super sensitive. That's kind of how I would work this out up here. So you're not going to want to use the same shampoo on your head as your beard. Same with you're not going to want to use the same face wash on your face as your beard. You're going to want to switch those up and make sure you're using the best things for your beard. But I will say Black Wolf's face wash and moisturizer are fantastic. I've been using them for about two weeks. The skin up here feels super nice. Definitely something great. I worked into my beard routine. And what I've got from them today is their charcoal face wash, as well as their ultra hydrating moisturizer. These were two great products. I appreciate the team over at Black Wolf for sending these out to me. Uh, they kind of reached out. They said they liked my reviews. So they asked if I would review their face wash. And like I said, that was a huge question for me. I haven't worn one of these since high school. How am I gonna work this into my beard routine? So what I do, what I do when I get in the shower, I go from top to bottom when I'm washing my face. I will start off with my shampoo on my hair and then I come at it with the face wash. On the back, it does say to uh, use this with a nickel size. A lot of this goes a long, or a little bit of this goes a long way, not a lot, a little goes a long way. So you're definitely not gonna want too much. It does have this kind of a cool black color to it. Very neat looking stuff as it rolls down my finger here. I didn't have the towel as handy as I thought I did. Very nice stuff, it feels great in beard. I usually just wash my head hair, then I throw that just right in here, right where I don't have any hair growing and just let that sit in for you know maybe five, 10 seconds. And then I have a detachable shower head. I take that off, I lean forward and rinse my face off. That way, not a lot of it's getting into my beard, but those that do the beard hairs that are already growing are going to protect that skin anyways, kind of like a nice shield. So it's not going to affect your beard too much. Do not take this and go underneath the skin hair, uh, underneath your beard. You're not gonna want this on the skin under your beard. Just keep it in these areas where you do not have a beard growing. After that, I will usually do my beard wash, my co-wash, my conditioner, just depending on what I do today, I just rinse my beard. So I wash my face with the face wash and then I just hit my beard with only water and that was it. Once I get out of the shower, I usually comb out my beard, I will throw my beard oil in 
And then during that five minutes wait before I throw in my beard butter, I will hit the moisturizer. Moisturizer comes out, total opposite color. Little bit of white there, you're not gonna want a whole lot of this. Not a lot at all. And I just do the same thing. I take this and I just go around all the places where I just put that face wash. And then after that five minutes of having put my oil in, I come back and put my butter in. I don't want to put my, I don't want to put this in and then the oil because all that is going to kind of get trapped in your fingers. So I'm definitely going to go with the oil on my beard first, then a face moisturizer, then wait that five. I'll probably wash my hands and then put that beard butter in just so you're not mixing this up with the oil, with the butter, anything that's going to go straight to your beard. Definitely want to keep those kind of separated. This is a very, very good different face wash here. They've got a face wash for dry skin and oily skin. This is the oily skin one. Looks very sharp and kind of a big container here as well. Uh, it's made in the US out of Florida. This will cost you $15. The, the oily skin and the dry skin each will run you only 15 bucks. Then if you want to get a nice moisturizer, $19 here. Very good stuff. Like I said, I have it in right now as well as my beard oil. It feels fantastic. Just do not mix this up and put it in your beard. It's gonna, it, I'm not gonna say it's gonna damage it quickly, but over an extended period of time, you're gonna notice some damage probably going to your beard hair. Just because that skin underneath your beard, those pores are much, much more sensitive than these ones up on your face, as well as the ones on your head. If you guys wanna go check out Black Wolf, I will tag them on Instagram down below. I will put the shop where to shop down below as well. They do offer free shipping on orders over $20 or more. And then you also get a free travel bag, uh, like a toiletry bag for orders over 60 bucks. And I think they sell those separately for 30 bucks on their site. So it's a really nice little deal if you go for that 60 bucks and you will get that free shipping as well. If you guys uh, use a face wash, let me know. What do you use for a face wash? Maybe you only use maybe your beard uh, wash as kind of your face wash as well, maybe even for your shampoo. Let me know what you use. Let me know if you have a face wash routine as well. As always, I love you guys. Peace out, and we'll see you next time.